Dear friends, welcome to Bond with RK Chemistry YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain the most important 63 organic name reactions which are frequently appeared in various entrance examinations such as IIT J Mains, Advanced, NEET, KBPY, IIT JAM, CU SET, SCU, PCU, JNU and other PG entrance examinations. In all canes, we have Woods reaction, Fittig reaction, Woods Fittig reaction, Frankland reaction, Woolman reaction, Coria House synthesis, and Colbe electrolysis. Woods reaction it is a coupling reaction between two alkyl halides in presence of sodium in dry ether. There is a formation of symmetric alkane with the even number of carbons. In this mechanism, there is a formation of alkyl radical and uh, alkyl carbanion. The alkyl carbanion which is generated in this mechanism will react with uh, another mole of uh, alkyl halide and there is a formation of symmetric alkane. In this mechanism, you can find SN2 type of reaction. Fittig reaction, it is also a coupling reaction between two aryl halides the metal is sodium in dry ether. Here there is a formation of biaryl compounds. Wood Fittig reaction it is a cross coupling between alkyl halide and aryl halide in presence of sodium in dry ether. Here there is a formation of alkyl substituted arenes. Franklin reaction it is a modification of Wood reaction. It is also a coupling reaction between two alkyl halides. In this case, the metal is zinc in dry ether. Here there is a formation of symmetric alkane. In this mechanism, there is no formation of um, free radical or carbanion. These intermediates uh, will not be formed in Franklin reaction. But in this mechanism, there is a formation of an intermediate organometallic compound that is uh, dialkyl zinc. Woolman reaction, it is a modification of Fittig reaction. It is a coupling reaction between two aryl halides in presence of copper in sealed tube. In this reaction, there is no solvent. The reaction is performed in sealed tube in order to prevent the oxidation of the copper into its uh, oxides. In this case, we will get biaryl compounds. And uh, the mechanism involves arg formation of organocarbon intermediates such as ARCU and ARCUX. Corey house synthesis, this one is very, very important for the preparation of uh, all types of alkanes. You can prepare uh, alkanes with even number of carbons, odd number of carbons, and also you can prepare symmetric, non-symmetric alkanes. The synthesis involves, first there is a reaction between alkyl halide and lithium. There is a formation of organometallic compound alkyl lithium. In second step, two moles of alkyl lithium reacts with cuprous iodide and there is a formation of organometallic compound R2CuLi. This one is called as Gilman reagent. It is a lithium organocuprate. La, the lithium organocuprate which is formed in second step reacts with the alkyl halide. Here there is a SN2 type of uh, reaction takes place and there is a formation of uh, alkane R or dash. Colby electrolysis reaction. This one is very important for the preparation of alkanes, alkenes and also alkynes. It is a decarboxylate dimerization reaction. If you take uh, monocarboxylates, uh, sodium salts of sodium or potassium salts of monocarboxylate upon electrolysis, at anode there is a formation of alkane and carbon dioxide. At cathode there is a formation of hydrogen and sodium hydroxide. If you take saturated dicarboxylate, it is a dicarboxylate, saturated dicarboxylate upon electrolysis. Uh, there is a formation of alkene at anode. If you take unsaturated dicarboxylate upon electrolysis, there is a formation of alkynes at anode. 
in alkenes and alkynes we have sabotage sanderson reaction lindlor reduction which reduction diels order reaction simon smith reaction and the wolds analysis reaction let us take the sabotage sanderson reaction it's a heterogeneous hydrogenation reaction here there is a addition of hydrogen to the double bond of alkene triple bond of alkyne in presence of nickel at 300 degree centigrade in place of nickel we can use a palladium and the platinum also and here there is a complete or full reduction of alkenes and alkynes takes place and there is a formation of alkanes in both the cases lindlor reduction it's not a complete or full reduction it's a partial reduction it's a stereo selective reduction there is a addition of hydrogen to the triple bond of alkyne and there is a formation of cis alkane there is a syn addition of uh, two hydrogens to the triple bond here there is a using of lindlor's catalyst the composition of lindlor's catalyst is 5 percentage palladium deposited over calcium carbonate the palladium surface is poisoned by lead acetate and phenolene in order to decrease the activity of the palladium and in this case you will get cis alkanes in the case of lindlor reduction if you take which reduction it is also st stereo selective reduction partial reduction it's a homogeneous uh, reduction the alkanes will be reduced to alkanes here there, there is a addition of hydrogens uh, in anti manner there is a formation of trans alkane here there is a formation of radical anion intermediate in this the mechanism involves a radical anion this is a radical anion which is formed in this mechanism diels order reaction it's a 4 plus 2 cycloaddition reaction between diene and dienophile here the diene is 1,3 butadiene and the dienophile is ethene in presence of heat uh, the reaction takes place and there is a formation of cyclohexane it's a concerted reaction the reaction takes place in single step simon smith reaction it's a reaction between alkene and uh, diido methane in presence of zinc copper couple there is a formation of uh, cyclopropane ring when there is a reaction between diido methane and zinc copper couple there is a formation of organometallic intermediate the organometallic intermediate which is generated is uh, ICH2ZnI idomethyl zinc iodide here there is a formation of carbonoid intermediate not uh, carbene and uh, the reaction the addition of uh, ICH2ZnI to the alkene it's a an example for um, chelotropic reaction it's a one type of cyclo addition reaction wolds analysis reaction is a cleavage reaction you can uh, cleave the double bond and the triple bond into carbonyl compounds and also carboxylic acids in presence of ozone first there is a addition of ozone to the double bond or triple bond there is a formation of uh, molozonide and ozonide intermediates it's a 1,3 cyclo addition reaction the addition of uh, ozone to the double bond or triple bond is a 1,3 cyclo addition reaction after addition there is a reductive cleavage upon reductive cleavage uh, for the for the alkenes we use zinc as a reductive cleavage in alkenes we will get carbonyl compounds in case of alkynes we get uh, carboxylic acids in aromatic hydrocarbons we have friedel crofts alkylation acylation gatterman reaction and gatterman koch reaction friedel crofts reaction it's a electrophilic substitution reaction in presence of lewis acids such as alcl3 or fecl3 when you treat benzene with the alkyl halide in presence of alcl3 there is a formation of carbocation alkyl carbocation 
this alkyl carbocation participate in electrophilic substitution reaction and there is a formation of uh, alkyl substituted uh, benzene. In acylation, uh, the reagent is uh, RCOX acyl halide in presence of AlCl3. There is a formation of acetylium ion RCO plus. This is the electrophile in friedel crofts acylation. And finally, you will get uh, ketone in case of friedel crofts acylation. Gatterman reaction and Gatterman coach reaction both are nearly same. In Gatterman reaction, we use hydrogen cyanide for formylation. In Gatterman coach reaction, we use carbon monoxide for the formylation. The remaining conditions are nearly same. In case of Gatterman reaction, we use SCN, SCL, and ALCL3. In Gatterman coach reaction, we use CO, SCL, ALCL3, and uh, the cuprous chloride this one increases the rate of the gutterman coach reaction it is also electrophilic substitution reaction in case of um, gutterman reaction there is a formation of uh, intermediates two intermediates form immunochloride and form immunocation in case of gutterman coach reaction there is a formation of formyl chloride and uh, formyl cation intermediates Organohalogens. In organohalogens, we have Finkelstein reaction, Sandmeyer reaction, Gutterman reaction, and the Balge Schumann reaction. Finkelstein reaction is an example for SN2 type of uh, reaction. When you treat alkyl halide with sodium iodide in presence of acetone, there is a formation of alkyl iodide. It's a exchange of halogen by another halogen, halogen exchange reaction. We can exchange uh, bromine and uh, chlorine by iodine and uh, chlorine by bromine. Bromine and chlorine can be exchanged by iodine and chlorine can be exchanged by the bromine. You cannot exchange fluorine by bromine, chlorine or iodine. Sandmay reaction, this one is very, very important for the preparation of aryl halides. Uh, such as aryl chloride, aryl bromide, and also you can prepare aryl cyanides. The reaction follows radical nucleophilic aromatic substitution, SR, R and AR mechanism. In this reaction, there is a using of benzene diazonium chloride, diazonium salts. When you treat diazonium salts with cuprous chloride in SCL, there is a formation of chlorobenzene. When you treat benzene diogenium chloride with cuprous bromide in HBr, there is a formation of bromobenzene. When you treat with CuCN in potassium cyanide, there is a formation of cyanobenzene. Gatterman reaction, it's a modification of Sandmeyer reaction. In Gatterman reaction, instead of cuprous halides, we use a copper powder. It's a heterogeneous reaction. When you treat the benzene diazonium chloride with the copper in SCL, there is a formation of chlorobenzene. And when you treat with the copper and HBr, there is a formation of bromobenzene. You cannot prepare fluorobenzene by using a Sandmeyer reaction and Gatterman reaction. You can prepare fluorobenzene by using a Balge Schumann reaction. In this reaction, the starting molecule is uh, aniline when you treat aniline with the hbf4 in presence of nitrous acid there is a formation of diazonium tetrafluoroborate this is a diazonium tetrafluoroborate intermediate and when you heat the diazonium tetrafluoroborate this one decomposes to fluorobenzene and there is a formation of nitrogen and bf3 here there is a formation of aryl cation intermediate when you heat the uh, diazonium tetrafluoroborate, uh, there is a formation of uh, aryl cation. This aryl cation will combine with the uh, BF4 minus. There is a formation of uh, aryl fluorobenzene. In alcohols, phenols, and ethers, we have Raymond Tiemann reaction, Kolbe Smith reaction, Schottenbaumann reaction, Price rearrangement, azocoupling reaction. 
Penacol, Penaclone rearrangement and Williamson synthesis. Rheumatimer reaction is the orthoformylation reaction. There is a formylation takes place at the ortho position of the phenol. And in this reaction, there is a formation of dichlorocarbon intermediate. This is the intermediate you will get CCL2. This is an intermediate which is formed in the Riemann-Thiemann reaction. In this reaction, phenol is treated with chloroform in presence of potassium hydroxide. There is a formation of salicylaldehyde in case of phenol. Kolbe-Smith reaction is a carboxylation reaction. At uh, ortho position, there is a carboxylation, there is a substitution of uh, carboxylation. When you treat phenol with um, CO2 in sodium hydroxide at uh, high pressure, 100 atmospheric pressure and 125 degrees centigrade, there is a formation of uh, sodium salicylate. Upon treating with H+, there is a formation of salicylic acid. Here there is a formation of aromatic hydroxy acid. It is an example for a nucleophilic addition reaction. A shortened Bowman reaction is a esterification reaction between a phenol and a benzoyl chloride in presence of sodium hydroxide. There is a formation of a phenyl benzoate. Simply there is a removal of hydrogen and Cl. Here there is a removal of hydrogen and Cl as a minus a Cl and there is a formation of phenyl benzoate. If you take aniline, here also there is a removal of hydrogen and chlorine, there is a formation of a benzoyl aniline. Price rearrangement, phenyl esters in presence of Lewis acids, uh, they exhibit price rearrangement. In price rearrangement, we will get the hard to hydroxy aryl ketones and the para hydroxy array ketones. The intermediate which is formed in price rearrangement is acelium carbocation. This is the intermediate you will get. RC double RC double bond O plus this is the acelium carbocation intermediate. This electrophile participates in the electrophilic substitution reaction. At low temperature less than uh, at low room temperature you will get the para hydroxy aryl ketone at high temperature greater than 100 degrees centigrade you will get the hot to hydroxy aryl ketone as a coupling reaction it's a coupling reaction between benzene diazonium chloride and phenol the benzene diazonium chloride can be obtained by diazotization reaction that is uh, when you treat aniline with uh, nitrous acid you can get nitrous acid from uh, sodium nitrate and HCl at 0 to 5 degrees centigrade, there is a formation of benzene diazonium chloride. When you treat benzene diazonium chloride with phenol in presence of sodium hydroxide, there is a formation of sodium phenoxide. This sodium phenoxide will participate in the coupling reaction. Then there is a formation of yellow orange azodi. It's an example for electrophilic substitution reaction. Here the electrophile is benzene diazonium. Penacol peniclone rearrangement. In this rearrangement, 1 2 diols in presence of acid, this one is 1 2 diol, in presence of acid converts into carbonyl compound. If you take penacol, this is a penacol in presence of H, there is a migration of this CH3 group to this carbon. First, there is a formation of carbocation, there is a removal of uh, OH and there is a formation of carbocation. This methyl group migrates towards this carbon and finally there is a formation of penicillin. Here there is a involving of a carbocation intermediate. Williamson synthesis, uh, this one is an example for uh, a central reaction between alkoxide, this one is the uh, sodium alkoxide and uh, alkyl iodide. Generally we take uh, primary alkyl iodide in case of Williamson synthesis, there is a formation of ether. So you can convert alcohols into ether by using Williamson synthesis. First, the alcohol is converted into sodium alkoxide by treating with sodium hydroxide. The alkoxide 
parts uh, will react with the alkyl iodide and there is a formation of ether. In case of aldehydes and ketones, we have 19 uh, Neymar reactions. And these are very, very important Neymar reactions. The first one is Etard reaction, Rosenman reaction, Stephens reduction, Wacker process, Oxo process, Aldal conjugation, Kenizero reaction, Kleisen Smith conjugation, Petkin reaction, Benjoin conjugation, Rifermatiski reaction, Noe Venegel reaction, Bayer Wilger oxidation reaction, Clemenson reduction, Wolf Kishner reduction, MPV reduction, open ice oxidation, Wittig reaction. Michael addition reaction. The, all these reactions are very, very important. Let us take the Etard reaction. It is a partial oxidation of CH3 into CHO. When you treat toluene uh, with uh, chromyl chloride CrO2 Cl2 in carbon disulfide, there is a formation of benzaldehyde. The partial reduction in presence of chromyl chloride is called as Etard reaction but if you treat with KMnO4 suppose if you treat with the KMnO4 acidified KMnO4 here there is a complete oxidation you will get um, benzoic acid here the CH3 will become COOH the benefit of it all reaction is you can get benzaldehyde from toluene you will get benzaldehyde there is no formation of uh, benzoic acid Rosenman reaction or reduction, the reagent which is used in Rosenman reduction is H2 and the palladium deposited over wa barium sulfate. Here the acyl chloride is converted into aldehyde. Simply in chlorine place there is a hydrogenolysis, there is a substitution of hydrogen. Sometimes uh, there is a using of uh, thiourea as poison. Suppose when the reactivity of acyl chloride is more, there is a possibility of formation of alcohols to prevent that uh, reaction. Sometimes there is a using of thiourea as poison. Formaldehydes cannot be prepared because if you take the reactant HCOCl, formyl chloride, this one is uh, highly unstable. That's why you cannot prepare formaldehyde by this method. Stephens reduction, you can convert nitriles or cyanides into aldehydes. The reagent which is used in Stephens reduction is tin dichloride and hydrogen chloride. First, there is a formation of aluminium salt intermediate. This is a aluminium salt intermediate. Upon hydrolysis, at this position there is a addition of carbon and at this position there is addition of hydrogen and there is a breaking of bond between C and N. Finally, you will get aldehyde. You can convert cyanides into aldehydes by using Stephens reduction. Wacker process alkenes can be converted into aldehydes in presence of oxygen. The Reagent which is used in Walker process is a palladium dichloride and a cuprous chloride couple. It's a homogeneous catalysis uh, a reaction. Oxo process, it is also homogeneous uh, catalysis reaction. It's a formylation reaction. There is a hydroformylation reaction. There is an addition of hydrogen and a formyl group CHO in presence of uh, COHCO for tetracarbonyl hydride cobalt at 100 degrees centigrade and uh, high pressure. There is a formation of N aldehyde, terminal aldehyde and also there is a formation of iso aldehyde. This is a CHO and this is H. Here we use the synthesis gas, CO and H2 is called as synthesis gas. It's a homogeneous catalysis and uh, Formylation at low substituted carbon. Generally, formylation at low substituted carbon takes place and uh, hydrogen adds at uh, high substituted carbon. Generally, we will get N aldehyde as a major. This is a major product N also processor. Aldol conjugation reaction it is the reaction between uh, two aldehydes or ketones which contain 
alpha hydrogens in presence of base it's a base catalyzed reaction aldehydes are ketones containing at least one alpha hydrogen will be converted into beta hydroxy aldehyde or ketone this one is called as aldol reaction when you remove water molecule upon heating there is a removal of water molecule from beta hydroxy aldehyde or ketone there is a formation of alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde or ketone this reaction is called as aldol condensation reaction this one up to this one aldol reaction and uh, up to this one is called as aldol condensation reaction Kanizaru reaction when there is no alpha hydrogen in aldehydes in presence of concentrated sodium hydroxide 50 percent is sodium hydroxide there is a disproportionation reaction aldehyde oxidizes to carboxylic acid and also the same aldehyde converts into alcohol in this reaction you have to take two moles of uh, aldehydes one of the aldehyde will converted into alcohol reduced to alcohol one of the aldehyde will be oxidized to carboxylic acid so reaction follows third order kinetics the rate depends on concentration of aldehyde square and the concentration of oh minus claisen smith condensation reaction in claisen smith condensation reaction there is a reaction between ketone and the benzaldehyde in presence of oh minus it's a modification of uh, aldol condensation ketone should have at least one alpha hydrogen and benzaldehyde there is no alpha hydrogen in this case there is a formation of beta hydroxy ketone upon heating there is a formation of alpha beta unsaturated ketone simply it's a aldol condensation between ketone with uh, at least one alpha hydrogen and the benzaldehyde you have to take aromatic aldehyde petkin reaction it is also modification of aldol condensation it is a condensation between benzaldehyde and acetic anhydride which contains at least one alpha hydrogen in presence of sodium sodium salt of its carboxylate here there is a removal of water molecule simply there is a removal of water molecule in presence of sodium acetate and uh, upon hydrolysis you will get uh, cinnamic acid cinnamic acid and uh, acetic acid it's a con aldol condensation between aromatic aldehyde and acid anhydride refermatiski reaction this one also similar to the aldol condensation in this reaction there is a using of alpha bromo ester and uh, here there should be at least one hydrogen alpha hydrogen when you treat alpha bromo ester with zinc there is a formation of organometallic compound organo zinc intermediate this organo zinc intermediate will attack on the aldehyde or ketone and there is a formation of beta hydroxy Yester. Noyevenical reaction. It is also modification of aldol condensation. It is uh, the reaction between acetaldehyde and active hydrogen containing compounds such as malonic ester. This compound, uh, these hydrogens are attached with carbon, which are attached with more electronegative or more strong electron withdrawing groups. here there is a removal of uh, water simply there is a removal of water in presence of base it is also base catalyzed reaction and upon acidic hydrolysis uh, you will get uh, crotonic acid that is ch3 ch double bond ch co oh benzoin condensation reaction it's a condensation reaction of uh, aromatic aldehyde in presence of potassium cyanide dissolved in uh, water and ethyl alcohol there is a formation of uh, alpha hydroxy ketone this one is called as benzoin or acyloin bayer will get oxidation in this there is a conversion of ketone into ester in presence of uh, peroxy acid or peroxide generally we use uh, cf3 coh or ncpba 
metachloroperbonzoic acid this is a mcpba metachloroperbonzoic acid perbenzoic acid okay this is the peroxy acid which is used in bayer wilkes reaction simply there is a insertion of oxygen between c double bond o and uh, one of the alkyl groups in ketone clemenson reduction here the carbonate group c double bond o will be converted into ch2 here there is a conversion of c double bond o into ch2 the reagent which is used in clemenson reduction is zinc amalgam dissolved in hydrogen chloride this reaction performed in acidic condition here there is a formation of an organo metallic compound that is zinc carbonoid intermediate will be formed in this mechanism in this mechanism there is no free radicals here there is a formation of zinc carbonoid intermediate in wolf kishner reduction this re this reduction is performed under basic condition first there is a reaction between carbonyl compound and hydrazine there is a formation of uh, hydrazones upon treating with koh in ethylene glycol there is a formation of alkane simply there is a conversion of c double bond o into ch2 what is the difference between clemenson reduction and wolf kishner reduction in clemenson the conditions are acidic condition wolf kishner the conditions are basic condition here there is a formation of hydrazone and diimide anion intermediates mervin fond of perli reduction reaction this one is uh, very important for the preparation of secondary alcohols you can prepare secondary alcohols from ketone when you treat ketone with isopropyl alcohol in presence of aluminum isopropoxide the ketone will be reduced to secondary alcohol and isopropyl alcohol will be oxidized to acetone open ice oxidation this one is uh, reverse to the mpv reduction mervin fond of perli reduction in this case alcohols secondary alcohols will be oxidized to ketones okay, when you treat alcohol with acetone in presence of aluminum isopropoxide alcohol will be converted into ketone and acetone will be converted into isopropyl alcohol this one is exactly opposite to the mpv reduction Wittig reaction. This one is Wolfenstein reaction. The C double bond O will be converted into C double bond C. Here there is a formation of a C double bond C bond. Here we use the phosphorus elides. This is the phosphorus elide which is used in Wittig reaction. Finally, the C double bond O. Here there is a conversion of C double bond O into C double bond CH2. in this mechanism we have triphenyl phosphonium elide is used in this mechanism we have beta in intermediate and oxo phosphatidine intermediate so the pi product is uh, triphenyl phosphoxide michael addition reaction it is the reaction between uh, ketone with acidic uh, proton and uh, alkyl vinyl ketone it's a conjugate addition reaction between carbenion and uh, alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl in presence of two base in this reaction there is a formation of 15 di ketone simply here there is a formation of ch2 minus the ch2 minus uh, adds at uh, c double bond c position in carboxylic acids in its derivatives we have acidic reaction smith reaction ordner diester reaction hell wall hard jelensky reaction tisinko reaction and kleisen condensation reaction in ansidic reaction the silver salt of carboxylic acid is converted into alkyl bromide when you treat with the bromine in ccl4 first there is a formation of alkyl hypobromide this is the alkyl hypobromide rcobr and this one is decomposed to alkyl free radical and uh, this is a decarboxylation there is a removal of co2 and there is a adding of halogenation it's a decarboxylation halogenation reaction 
In ordinary diester reaction, there is a homologation of carboxylic acids by one carbon. You can convert RCOOH into RCH2COOH. For this, you have to treat RCOOH with the thionyl chloride. First, there is a formation of RCOCl, acyl chloride. Upon treating with CH2N2, there is a formation of uh, diazoketone. This is a diazoketone which is formed, RC double bond O, CHN2. This diazoketone will be converted into ketene, RCHC double bond O. The conversion of diazoketone into ketene is called as Wolf rearrangement. In ordered isotope reaction, you can find Wolf rearrangement. Smith reaction, when you treat carboxylic acid with uh, hydrozoic acid in presence of H+, plus, uh, the carboxylic acid is directly converted into amine. This one is similar to Cartier's rearrangement. In this uh, rearrangement, we will get uh, isocyanate intermediate R N double bond, C double bond. Well, this is the intermediate which is generated in the Smith reaction. If you treat ketone with uh, hydrozoic acid in presence of H+, plus, this reaction is similar to bayer wilger oxidation. In bayer wilger oxidation, there is an insertion of oxygen between C double bond O and one of the alkyl groups. But in case of uh, Smith reaction, there is an insertion of uh, NH between C double bond O and one of the alkyl groups. So finally, you will get amide. So this is the inserted NH group between C double bond O and R2. So in Smith reaction, you can convert carboxylic acids into amines and ketones into amides by treating with the hydrozoic acid in acidic conditions. hell wolhard jelensky reaction, HVZ reaction. Simply, it's an alpha bromination reaction of carboxylic acid. For this, we use um, halogen and phosphorus. When you heat halogen, halogen with phosphorus, there is a formation of PX3. This one is um, used for the alpha halogenation of carboxylic acid. Simply, in place of hydrogen, there is a substitution of halogen. So, carboxylic acid finally convert into alpha halo carboxylic acid. This synthesis is used in a Strecker synthesis. This reaction is used in a Strecker synthesis. The alpha halo carboxylic acid which is generated in the HVZ reaction when you treat with ammonia, excess amount of ammonia, the X will be replaced. Simply the X will be replaced by NH2. And finally you will get RCH, COOH and here and H2. Okay, this synthesis is called as a Strecker synthesis which is used for the preparation of uh, amino acids, alpha amino acids. Tisinko reaction, it is a disproportionation reaction of aldehyde in presence of aluminum aluminum ethoxide. Here aldehyde is converted into alcohol and carboxylic acids. The alcohol and carboxylic acids which are formed will be reacted and will form ester. There is a esterification between alcohol and carboxylic acid which are generated in the first step. So in Tishinko, in Tishinko reaction, two moles of aldehydes finally converted into ester. Kleisen conjugation, the, the Kleisen conjugation reaction is exhibited by the esters which contain at least one alpha hydrogen in presence of base such as sodium ethoxide. Here finally you will get when you take ethyl acetate you will get ethyl acetoacetate this one is a beta keto ester. In Kleisen conjugation simply there is a removal of OC2H5 of ester OR and hydrogen active hydrogen from the another ester and finally there is a formation of beta keto beta keto ester nitrogen containing compounds they the name of reactions in nitrogen co containing compounds are Hoffman mustard oil reaction neff reaction manich reaction 
Gabriel thalamide synthesis, Offman elimination, Cope elimination, diazotization reaction, and also we have some rearrangements, Beckman re rearrangement, Hattius, Lawson, and Offman rearrangements. In these three rearrangements, there is a, an intermediate uh, isocyanate R and C double bond O intermediate which is involved in these three Hattius, Lawson, and Offman rearrangements. Let us take the Offman mustard oil reaction. This one is used for the identification of uh, ethyl amine. Finally, there is a formation of ethyl isothiocyanate. The smell of ethyl isothiocyanate is the smell of mustard oil, the pungent smell of mustard oil. When you treat primary amine, here uh, I have taken ethyl amine. When you treat with carbon disulfide, there is a formation of intermediate dithioethyl carbamic acid. And this uh, dithioethyl carbamic acid, when you treat with um, mercuric chloride, when you treat with mercuric uh, chloride, there is a removal of sulfur, one of the sulfurs, and uh, as HGS, and there is a formation of HCl. Finally, you will get uh, mustard oil smell containing compound that is ethyl isothiophinate. This is used for the identification of primary amines. NAF reaction, this uh, NAF reaction is exhibited by prime, primary and secondary nitroalkanes. When you treat primary nitroalkanes, uh, in the first you have to treat with the basic conditions OH minus and after acid condition H plus, so there is a formation of uh, carboxylic acid in case of primary nitroalkane. If you take secondary nitroalkane, when you treat with base and the acid, you will get ketone. This one is acid hydrolysis of salts of uh, primary and secondary nitroalkane. To get salts of primary and secondary nitroalkane, you have to treat with first base. Tertiary, if you take tertiary nitroalkanes, they cannot form salts of salts of nitroalkane. That's why these, these are uh, not participated in the NAF reaction. Managed reaction it's a amino alkylation of uh, acidic proton containing molecules. In this case, ketone, RCOCH3, it has acidic proton. When you treat with the formaldehyde and the secondary amine, R to NH, in acidic condition, there is a amino alkylation. Simply, there is an insertion of uh, CH2 and this CH2 in place of hydrogen there is an insertion of CH2 and uh, R2, R2N. So finally, you will get the beta amino carbonyl compound. In this mechanism, there is a formation of uh, imenium ion intermediate. This is the imenium ion intermediate. You will get a uh, C double bond N. This is uh, hydrogen, hydrogen, and this is the R and R. Here you have positive charge. This one is the uh, Imenium ion intermediate, which is formed in managed reaction. Gabriel thalamide synthesis, uh, this one follows SN2 mechanism. First, uh, potassium thalamide, uh, it, this one is uh, treated with alkyl halide. When you treat alkyl halide with potassium thalamide, this one is acting as nucleophile. This nucleophile attacks on the alkyl halide in SN2 manner, and there is a formation of N alkyl. Uh, thalamide, alkyl substituted thalamide. When you treat with aqueous NaOH, here there is a hydrolysis reaction. So finally, you will get a primary amine. You can prepare primary amines uh, by Gabriel thalamide synthesis. Offman elimination reaction. In Offman elimination reaction, we take a quaternary ammonium salts. So when you treat with, uh, when you treat quaternary ammonium salts with uh, Silver oxide, there is an elimination of uh, this tertiary amine group and the hydrogen and the hydrogen from uh, less substituted carbon, not more substituted carbon. This is the product. You will get uh, less substituted alkene in case of Offman elimination. The Offman elimination is exhibited by the quaternary ammonium salts. And Cope elimination, this one is modification of um, Offman elimination, the tertiary amines, first the tertiary amines will be converted into N oxides 
and when you heat the n oxide so there is a decomposition here also there is a elimination of hydrogen from less substituted carbon not more substituted carbon you will get this one this one is the major and uh, this one is the minor you will get so this one will be removed and this hydrogen will be removed as this molecule so cope elimination is exhibited by n oxides and often is exhibited by quaternary ammonium salt that is the difference diazotization reaction in diazotization reaction there is a formation of uh, diazonium salts benzene diazonium chloride salts when you treat aniline with uh, two moles of hydrogen chloride and uh, sodium nitrite here there is a formation of nitrous acid this nitrous acid will react with uh, NH2 of aniline and there is a diazotization reaction. The reaction temperature should be in between 0 to 5 degree centigrade. Backman rearrangement, keto oxides exhibit a Backman rearrangement. This rearrangement takes place in acidic condition. Finally, you will get amide. In this rearrangement, you will get nitrilium ion and immediate intermediates. So, from keto oxides, you can prepare amides. Courteous rearrangement. This uh, in this rearrangement, we have to take acyl azides. Acyl azides can be obtained from RCOCl. When you treat RCOCl with uh, sodium acide you will get acyl acide when you heat the acyl acide you will get isocyanate the rearrangement the conversion of acyl acide to isocyanate is called as cutteous rearrangement when you treat isocyanate with a different nucleophiles so when you treat with h2o you will get me when you treat with alcohol you will get carbamate and when you treat with amines you will get uh, urea derivatives in case of loss in rearrangement, we have to take hydroxymic acid when you treat with OH minus hydroxymic acid. Here the condition is basic condition. When you heat, you will get isocyanate. And this isocyanate can be treated with different nucleophiles, you will get different products. In case of H2O, you will get amine and alcohol, you will get carbamate and primary amines, you will get urea derivatives. In Offman re rearrangement, or it is also called as Offman bromide reaction, when you treat amide with bromine sodium hydroxide, there is a formation of isocyanate. This isocyanate, when you treat with water, you will get amine. When you treat with alcohol, carbamate, and when you treat with the primary amine, you will get urea derivative. What is the difference between cutteous? Lawson and Offman. In case of Cutteous, the starting material is uh, RCO, N3, azide, acyl azide. In case of Lawson and uh, hydroxymic RCO and HOH, and in case of uh, Offman, you have to take RCO and H2 and Br2. This is a difference between Cutteous, Lawson, and Offman. Thank you, thank you very much.